Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. Hang on, I think yesterday's was 21. This should be 22. Yeah, that's correct. Um, 22, today is a little bit different. I thought for today's vlog I would do a house a house tour or a bungalow tour my parents recently moved into somewhere else they'd stayed in their other house for like 20 something years i'm not entirely sure how many but like a quite a long time so now they've moved into a really nice bungalow and i thought i would do a little tour so let's see the bungalow hi tommy oh and by the way it might be a little bit like stuffs here and there etc because obviously someone lives in it so just thought i'd point that out we shall begin the tour Right, this is the hallway when you first come in. Obviously there's some Christmas decorations here or there around because obviously it's Christmas. To the right is mum in her bedroom brushing her teeth. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just quickly start in here before we show the hallway fully. This is the um, little bathroom. Is there a light in here? So this is the like bathroom that like guests will use. There's a mirror with me in it. Yeah, this is my least favorite room because it's just, you know, boring. And then the window to outside. Now coming out of the bathroom, we go right again into mum's bedroom. Hello, mum. Hello, hello indeed. Mum's participating as part of the furniture in here. Yes. And on the bed there happens to be a tree. That's going to my dad's grave. Oh. <laughs> well, Christmas, for one of something else. That's kitschy. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, that's what it looks like outside their bedroom window. Remember, this is a bungalow. Mm -hmm. So, this is what the room looks like on the other side. Wardrobe space. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> and then this is quite nice. That would be a good filming background. Um, then let's go through to their ensuite. Which, oh, actually, we have to, your special mention to. Oh, yes. Um, Slip it or leg toy, makeup toy. Then we come through to the bathroom. Please excuse what I'm wearing. Um, I'm going to get changed soon. I'm going to have a bath. So on the left hand side, we have a shower which you can sit down in. We're not quite at that stage yet though. Yeah, but you could if you wanted to. Oh yeah. Like you could just chill, couldn't you? And then, look how cute this is. And what's he, what's he called, Georgie? Battery. <laughs> Good thing about this room is there's two sinks. Yeah, but why? Why would you need two sinks? Can anybody answer that please? Because One for you and one for dad. No, but we're never really in here at the same time. Maybe. Yeah, but it's like, what if you make more mess than dad, or do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't I think, think two that. is good. I'm not known, well, I am known I would love my own I sink. Well, I'll that. take one of them if you don't want one. Oh, okay. Some of this stuff is mine as well, like these two things, by the way, because I've just, you know, don't live here. Um, and then here is the bath. And there's a nice view out the window as well. Except when I have a bath shortly, they, those curtains will be closed. Those curtains are coming down, there's going to be a blind in here. Oh, right. Oh, no, not while you're in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, look how long they are. They're going to just get wet, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. We have Ziffrogs. Quite often, me and Dad do end up, I'm in the bath whilst he's on oh, the yeah. toilet. Yeah, not, this know. is all my stuff I brought with me. They've got little jets, Mum, don't they? Yeah, it's a bit violent when you switch it on. It's, oh. Yeah, and it's loud as well, so it's not actually as nice as you think oh, it would no. be. Oh no. We've never had things like that before. Little bunnies, I got my estrid shaver. 
Doesn't that match that yellow bunny? I'm hoping she's going to leave that here. No, you can go your own for seven pounds. Uh, I've got some Georgie's uh, Fresh Face oh, yes. by Georgie Carr. I've got mine as well with me. Yeah. Hello. My oh, that, that's ancient, that. I've got my new face mask here, yeah. which is this one. Yeah. Yeah. You have to try oh, this one. Oh, you put it in a different pot. Remember you say when you first came in that like, you're, oh, I can do my workouts in here. Yeah, look how much <laughs> space there is. It's insane. It's a lot bigger than we're used to. Oh, and what I also like is this. We haven't painted in this bathroom Can you? Yet. Does that turn on? No, you got a... Oh, yeah, there we go. I didn't read it properly. Yeah. Is that light comes on? The whole bungalow was painted in this pink, which wasn't hideous, but it... Uh, these sort of <laughs> Look at that, yeah. Yeah, um, but it's not to our taste, so uh, this is still the original pink and it's going to be changed in due course. So, mm. yeah. Right, so I'll just show them the hallway properly. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And this one. So coming out of mum's bedroom, back into the hallway. This is what it looks like. So here's the door on the left, if you can remember. And then there's like a random cupboard thing here. Um, not entirely sure what that is. Um, there's the living room, but we'll show you that in a minute. And then this like hoover thing. Um, and then over here, we have more cupboard, a plant. And then that's up, that's where the loft is up there. A clock. Is that the correct time? Probably. Um, okay, and then not too much really to show in here. Just a few bits and bobs. But the amount of space in this room, like look, I could literally do star, um, not star jumps, flips and roly polies. Oh, I forgot to turn the light off in that bathroom. Never mind, I'll do that in a minute. So let's go through to the living room, which is in here. This door can close, but we will, you know, we'll just keep it open. Obviously the fire is not on right now, but it was the other night if you saw yesterday's vlog. So this is what the living room looks like as an overview before I go into little details. Dad's in the corner. Hello. Hello. Right, we showed this little office section in yesterday's vlog, but I'll just quickly show it again. So in here is like an inbuilt little office area. So if you had a chair here, then you could use that as like a little office station, which is what Tommy does. Um, I did show it in yesterday's vlog, so I'm not gonna show it too much. Oh, there is a chair, there it is. If I was here permanently, I would edit my videos in here, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, that's very handy because it doesn't take up any space. It's not like you need an extra table in the room for that kind of thing. It's nice and, t damn it, I put them back the wrong way. It's nice and tucked away. This is what it looks like from the inside looking out, by the way. Then we go over to here, which is what they had in their previous house. This cupboard and some sweeties gotta get those sweeties and christmas cards obviously um and then this table they also had in the previous house a white christmas tree i think you know you could add a little bit of tinsel on that it's a little bit bare but you know whatever okay this is a view from this side so it's looking outside um to where the front is where we started at the beginning um, this is the sofas, not everything's tidied obviously because, you know, it's not a show home. Um, so yeah, new sofas aren't they dad? Well not brand new, but no, new to you. Um, so yeah. We could have a, could have a, a, a vlog on, uh, on how much everything's cost in this house. <laughs> That'd be quite interesting. Here yeah, look, goody. My little pelvic look. Look at the, it's like a piece of furniture in itself. Well, what's it for? I had to make this. Put this curtain up. Oh. So it matches the rest of it. Look, I'll just put it up, Jill. You can film me. What film are you putting it up or yeah. after you put it up? Are you ready? Watch yeah. It. it goes up like this. Imagine if it comes crashing down. Damn it. It might be difficult though. Now I've put the flipping uh, curtain on. There's not a lot of room now, suddenly. Whilst you're struggling with that, I'm just going to show them the smoky bits outside. I don't know if you can see outside, but 
<laughs> on the um, fences it looks like it's like smoky I don't think you can see actually um, but it's just because it's so cold outside Stan has come to help right so this is the chimney I did show a fire in last uh, last night's vlog but here are just some wood obviously um, but some bulbs the little frag most of these little ornaments and things are things that are carried like over from their previous house and then I think my auntie Jen made this little reef thing that's cute Ooh. right so the fire yeah Anti what? Anti genital. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is probably my favourite part of the um, of the house, apart from the kitchen. But we'll get to that um, because it's just so cosy. And then we've got a tiny ass TV over here in the corner. Tiny. Which well, it is really. Well, it just looks tiny because it's so small in comparison to the rest of the room. And also, this sofa's not facing the TV. Um, when you don't want it, you can actually get rid of it. Oh yeah, true. Not like uh, modern society. Yeah, but if it was, totally if out. the TV was up on the wall, it would t still take up less space than that would. Well, it would, but we've got space. True. That's my hamster. It's not always here, but it is just for Christmas. Look, Dad's put his thing up now. Yeah. The curtain. Hang on, let me show you. I've managed to sort it out now from the middle. Engineering. It now works there. Just bring it in. <laughs> That's cute. So you Oops, could have that door closed, and if you had a fire, it'd be so warm in there, wouldn't it? No. I mean, obviously, there's a gap at the top. Yeah. yeah. So this is the living room from this point of view. Jack um, So that side obviously goes back into the hallway, as I've shown, and then the front door's there. But you can actually come through this curtains. How do I get through? Can I just squeeze through? Yeah. In the way. There's a casual tractor in the random place on the wall. My okay, so here is like a random the little snug. cute little area. It's called, snug. it's called the snug. Tommy, do you have your Xbox? Ah, uh, yeah, you do. So it looks like this is Tommy's Xbox room then instead. No. It's, it's not a snug. So this is just like a casual little extra bit on the living room. If you had guests over, then some people could be in here and then some people could be in the other living room. Couldn't they? And yeah. then another section of the wall, there's a little random car. The view from out the back is the garden, which I will show you um, shortly. But yeah, won't show you too much of this room. But that's the t another TV. Coming through here, so back through there is the living room where we came from. Coming through here, there's another door where we can go straight on that will take you back into the hallway. But left is the kitchen. But before we get there, there's just this cabinet thing, as you can see. Lots of storage in here. So coming through into the kitchen. The curtains are a little bit closed. This is what the kitchen looks like from this point of view. I'll share it from different angles. Tommy's just giving a demo of how to use the kitchen by eating food. Um, but yeah, we've just got cupboards and things. Obviously, I'm not going to show what's in the cupboards, but you can imagine it's got food in them. The worktop is like all one material, if you know what I mean. I don't know what I'm saying, but do you know what I mean? It's like... Can I see some cool? Yeah. Tommy, this is a tour. I know, but it's, it's this happens to occur. Okay. Watching. There's a pool table slash snooker. Thanks for sharing. There's a gigantic pestle and mortar for some reason. Oh. Right, that's what it looks like outside that window. The sink area. So just moving back so I can show you what that area looks like from over here. Okay, so from this side of the room, this is what the kitchen looks like. I really like the kitchen, it's my favourite. Um, these chairs spin round, 
So you can sit on them and then they spin, which I think is really cool. Tommy, do you want to do a demo? Very good, very, very good. Obviously some of Dad's tools are down there, but we don't need to look at those because that's not a usual occurrence. Um, today's the 22nd as I'm filming this video. Wow, it's mental, isn't it? It is quite mental. Have you looked outside yet? No. So these are the curtains and the windows, obviously all of them could be open, but they're not all open right now. And it does take you through to the outside. We have the dining room table, which happens to be converted into a pool table as well. So you can have this as a table when you put the wooden planks back on top, but we like to keep it as a pool table, um, unless obviously we have guests over or it's Christmas day because it's just fun to play pool in it, Tommy. It is indeed. If you watch yesterday's vlog, you'll see us playing. <laughs> this is what the kitchen looks like from this point of the room. It literally, I could film a cooking show. Jack Gaveson, Cody, Sam Clayton, Dylan Carl Roberts. Hey Dylan. <laughs> um, yeah, I could literally just film from here and then somebody could do a cooking show over there. So yeah, I think this is cool. And uh, as you can see, loads of storage. Um, if mum was on the ball, she would have something really, you know, cool, like a massive cake to put in that stand, but we're working on it. Is this a vlog? It's a tour of the place. Right, so over here, we've got the cooker. I thought I would just show this a little bit more close because I think this looks cool. It reminds me of, uh, if any of you have seen it, um... Wallace and Gromit when they go to the moon, that fridge that's on the moon. Oh yeah. It looks exactly like it. Oh my God, it does. Um, so yeah, these are like the oven, and then I like these cute little things. Oh. This little rack to put the spices on, that's cute. And then there's another one on the other side as oh, well. Nice rack. <laughs> and then up there, there's just the clock and a wine thing. <laughs> this is quite cool. This is the microwave. And I, f I could not get my, yeah, microwave oven. I couldn't get my head around the fact that this is metal and it's in the microwave and that's okay. Don't put metal in the microwave, kids. I put once put a mug in the microwave and the me me handle was metal and it blew off. It's not good. Right, um, okay, I'll just finish showing the rest. Right, so we're in the kitchen. Now this is the utility room. It smells in here because there's the camembert in here apparently. Yeah. Tommy, it's not that bad. And then yeah. there's like a little pin board, the sauce trolley, Whoa. trays, you know, the washing machine, everything like that. The usual things. There's a, a, a cat flap, but I think that's big enough for a small dog. So we're getting a dog. We're not really, um, but they could. Um, so yeah, obviously view to outside. This is what it looks like. And then, is this a freezer? What is this? Yeah, fridge. Oh, oh my god, a second fridge. There's a freezer next to it. There's a second fridge. That's insane. Okay, I've just unleashed the smell again. But yeah, this is the utility room. So we'll say goodbye because it smells in here. Bye, Tommy. Now, if we go back into the hallway, so we've done a circle. What we just did is we went into the living room, we went all the way around the back into the snug, into the kitchen, all the way around, and here we are. So now we're back into the, uh, hello there. We're back into the hallway, and now we're gonna go left into mine and Tommy's room, or mainly Tommy's, but when I stay here. So yes, it is the messiest room, but that's only because it's got Tommy in here. That's my bed nicely made. That's Tommy's bed not made. What? You got out of bed and yours is exactly the same. All Tommy's clothes are on the floor. Yeah, that's what it made a bit. Headphones on. Obviously, oh I've God. got all my stuff yeah, in bags. Well, I didn't put the headphones there. You did. Hang on. Yeah, 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 I want it kept more But that's than because you've been I don't live here. So I had to have well, my stuff in bags. Blame on the and then if you see the view out of this curtain. How the heck do you do it? Are you done? Oh my God. I did not know what that was. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know what that was. I was like, what is this thing moving? I thought somebody was entering. Hang on, Julie. Oh. This is what it looks like outside the view of Tommy's uh, window, but I'll show you the outside in a minute. Then we come into, actually, I'll show you a view of the bedroom. 
This is what the bedroom looks like from this side, so from the other side. Tommy's trophy. Tommy, what did you get that trophy for? Apparently academic excellence. Ac academic excellence. Apparently. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> Ages ago, years ago. Hey, look. Is that Tommy's? No, <laughs> That's mine. Not. Right, coming into the ensuite in this room. We have a very smelly boiler. No, whatever that smell's coming from. No, we have a shower, and again, in this shower, there's a seat where you can sit down. So I think that's pretty, pretty goddamn good. Um, Tommy just closed the door. Thank you, Tommy. Um, we've got a toilet and the slides of space for putting stuff in, really, aren't you? Um, Maya cleansing balm. And then here's the sink area. Yeah, there's a bit of mess from me. Um, hello, it's me again. Um, and then out of this window, again, this is the view across the garden. Not really too much to show in this room in particular, but here we are. So I'm going to head out. How do I get out? Tommy? Nearly locked myself in. Right. So coming out of the bedroom, we've now finished the tour inside the building. Shall we go out the back? How do I get out? So we're back in the kitchen and we're just gonna open the door to the outside area. This is the outside area at the back. You've already seen the front outside area. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Well, at least we know it's secure. <laughs> if you can't even unlock it when it's unlocked, then that, that's why it's not good. Right, coming out of the bungalow, we have, I can't even see what I'm recording. Um, we have a little chair area. Obviously this would be used more, you know, in the summer months. Oh my god, it's frosty. I'm trying not to fall over. Um, but yeah, we've got like a little bench area over there, so that's cute. Do you know what I mean about the smoky um, fences? Down the left-hand side, I'm not entirely sure like what the actual purpose of this like section is. I can't really do anything with that section, if I'm honest. So, you know, it's just like an alleyway. But if you go that way, it takes you to the front. And then this is like the garden area. So that's like the grassy area which obviously dad would cut in summer, um, but obviously it is winter right now, and then the patio. So that's the like kitchen area where we've just come from, and then in there is the snug, and then if you see there, that's where the living room is. Um, I'm pretty sure. Trying not to slip over. Oh, looks like dad's cut back the bushes. Last time I came here, there was loads of bushes. Or was there? Maybe it was leaves, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, hello, my shadow. Then if we look to the right, this is another little kind of area. So like I said, kitchen, that's the utility room with the cat flap. And then over there is Tommy's bedroom that I just showed. Over here is where we buried Dean. If you saw a vlog where I buried my hamster, if you haven't, you can go and watch that. He's buried over here, just there where that thing's sticking out so this is what the property looks like from this side right if we come round to the side you can actually go all the way round to the front of the house there's a gate here don't know whether to go round maybe I should because I'm filming a tour So we come through here, there's like a little shed thing, which I'm not going to go in. And then we come round here. So this is just like a little hidden away area around the side. And then we come through back to the front. This takes you all the way back to the front of the house. I will now show you this little garage area 
Dad, what would you call this section? Dad, yeah. what would you call this section? Um, oh, well there's a car for Oil tanks behind there. Ah, uh, oil tanks over there. And then there's a garage in there. But yeah, this is what it looks like from the front. As you would have seen, Dad's obviously got loads of Volvos. For some reason, there's yeah, three. Classic Volvos. Oh, sorry, classic Volvos. So yeah, this is the garage, which as you can see is quite large, so could store, you know, lots of makeup in it. Yeah, we'll just quickly do this. It's a bit of a mess. Oh yeah, this is the view, by the way, from their house. I know it's difficult to see on the camera, um, actually, because of the bushes and stuff. But yeah. So this is the garage on this side. Is there a light in? Sorry, is there a light first of all? cleaning. Right, so it's hard to see on the camera, but this is first section of the garage. There's like a trailer there, obviously very big. And then I'll just quickly show you in here. This is just basically storing loads of random stuff in it. It looks like it used to be stables, it it's like a wall. Oh, was it? Yeah. Huh? For the horses. Ah, so they must have been that side and put their heads over these walls, possibly. Right, so yeah, as we've seen in there. And then, what about that little room over there? Is that open oh. or not? Well, yeah. Not a this is actually so cute in here. Yeah, this is, this is the workshop. Oh. I'm just doing there. Damn. Damn, that's actually massive in here. This is the workshop, isn't it, Dad? That yeah. you just said. Did this used to be stables as well? Because it's got the walls in it, this or did you put the walls up? Room. Did you put these up, or was they there? No, oh, they look like they've been put up. I've just painted the floor. So yeah, here's the garage. Yeah. Right. Obviously needs sorting out. Yeah. Right. That concludes the so, tour. Yeah, just to say that those at the front there was all the bushes. Right up in the air, about 15 foot, and blocking all our views. So I sort of cut them right down. Had about five trailer loads of stuff to get rid of. And counting. Right. This concludes. This concludes the tour. Mm. That's it for the bungalow tour. Not really anything else left to share. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 23, which is another vlog um, in this bungalow. Um, so yeah, there'll be a little break until after Christmas when I can actually post the Christmas Eve vlog and Christmas Day vlog because there's no Wi-Fi here. So see you then.